All right, I want to use this FET animation to teach you about total internal reflection. So let's start it up. Choose the first choice. We've got a laser. We've got air on the top and water on the bottom. Let's turn the laser on. And uh, you've seen this before. What you have is a reflected ray and a refracted ray. And what's pretty impressive is that as you make the angle of incidence larger, they show the reflected ray getting brighter and brighter. And that's actually what happens. The larger the angle of incidence, the brighter the reflected ray gets because more is reflected and less is refracted. Okay, actually, that's not what I wanted to show you, though. Um, notice that at every angle, you always get you, you do you always get a reflected ray and a, and a refracted ray. But if the outside medium is faster, let's change the bottom medium to air, and the inside medium is slower, and make that water, you get a pretty cool effect. At really wide angles, the refracted ray disappears. So. It's called total internal ref reflection, and remember, it occurs when the outside medium is faster. So it only occurs also at wide angles. Now, you'll notice that at some point, the refracted ray goes away. And actually, let's get the protractor over here. Put the zero line on the normal. Okay. There we go. And let's find out what angle, what angle does the refracted ray disappear, it's uh, at about, what is that now? See, that's 40. This is 45. This is like 47. Let's see, 50, 50 something, a little over, just like actually looks like it's like 49 or something like that. Um, we now have total internal reflection the name for the angle above which the, the entire ray is reflected is called the critical angle. So for this material, the critical angle, like I said, is 40, there's 50. So it's just be 40, you know, 49, 48, something like that. Uh, we're at the critical angle. So once we get a, go beyond the critical angle, everything gets reflected. So if you're greater than the critical, everything gets reflected. If you're smaller than the critical, you get refraction. It's called total internal reflection. Um, so let's summarize. Well, actually, let's try something else. Let's try uh, glass. Now, because glass is slower than water, there will be a point, even though we've changed the medium, where everything gets reflected. Let's see what that happens. It's not at, it's not at let's see, there's 30, 40, 45, it's like 40 something, right? 40, 42 ish, or whatever beyond that. That's the critical angle for glass. Now, I just want to, there you go. Now you're greater than the critical, everything bounces off. So let's get that away. <laughs> um, what else did I want to point out? There's one more thing I wanted to point out. Oh, so each material has its own critical angle. Uh, you can see that because water had a different critical angle than glass. Um, so just to summarize, for every material, there's an angle above which the entire ray bounces off the medium. That's called, what bounces off the boundary. That's called total internal reflection. And we said the wider the angle, the brighter the reflected ray gets. And we said for total internal reflection to happen, the outside medium must be faster. So actually, let's try one more thing. Let's try glass and water. Let's see. So we look at that in glass. It, water is faster because it has a lower index of refraction. It's a faster medium than water. So there should be a point that we get total internal reflection. Let's try this. It occurs at a really big angle, 60-something, 60 60. Let's try it. Let's see. It's six. It's like 62 or three ish. Everything goes away. Now I remembered what I wanted to tell you that once you start approaching the critical angle, let's find a critical angle here. Notice that the refracted angle starts to approach what angle? Let's see. It starts to get very close to 
90 right there. So at the critical angle, the angle of refraction is 90. And that is the end of my lesson on total internal reflection.